In this tutorial, we learn how to install Python onto Windows. Once Windows has been installed, we go ahead and verify the Python installation. Unlike the Mac here on Windows, we only have one option for installing Python, and that's to download Python from python.org. So that's going to be our first step. Open up your browser, type in python.org, navigate over to the official python.org website. Generally, you want to avoid downloading Python from anywhere else, and then just head over to the download dropdown. So in actual fact, you will be presented with the latest version here for Windows. So you can simply press the yellow button here, but alternatively, use the downloads, select Windows, and then select the Python 3.12.1 button, and that should start the download process. Depending on the browser that you're using, will depend on how you now access the file that you have just downloaded. Here, I'm just going to open up the folder, go to downloads, and there we go. So I'll double click on that. So that will open up the installation wizard. And now we can go ahead and install. Now here on Windows, we do want to select add Python exe to the path. That's just going to make it easier for us to work with Python. Um, and we can then go ahead and select customize installation. So we've got an option here of installing documentation and some other features. We don't need to necessarily touch that at all for, for this course, at least. So we just, we're just going to install everything here. I'm going to press next, and then it's going to give me the option here of defining where I want to install Python. Now, generally what I try to do is install Python directly on the C drive. So here, C colon backslash Python 312. So that's going to create a new folder in the C drive, and that's going to make it easier for me to access Python. Should I need to link to it for some reason or access some of the Python resources in that folder? And that's the only customizations that I'm going to make. I'm going to press install. That should take a few seconds to install. And that's pretty much it for the installation of Python. Something else that I can disable because I may have a, a path which is more than 260 characters. I'm just going to disable this path length limit just in case that's going to cause any problems. So do I want to make those changes? Yes, I've selected that. And now Python is set up. To verify that Python was installed, let's press the Windows key on the keyboard to bring the search bar there. So we type in CMD and then we'll open up a command prompt. I'll just see if I can zoom in a little bit and then we we'll go ahead and type in python or python and then dash dash version press enter and we're told that we have python 3.12.1 installed 